Miami trading running back Jay Ajayi, the great Jay Ajayi, to the Eagles for a fourth round pick. Stephen A, should they be booking their trip to the Super Bowl? You know what? It's it's starting to seem that way. It seems like all things are clicking for the Philadelphia Eagles right now. J.J. isn't having the most spectacular season in the world. He's only averaging about 3.4 yards per carry. It's been less than stellar. Uh, he's only had two 100-yard rushing games on the season against the Chargers um, and against the and at at, a, at the Atlanta Falcons. But nevertheless, he is a stud. I think that when you look at the problems that they've had in Miami, in large part, it can be attributed to the offensive line woes. And remember that offensive line coach uh, that was caught. Uh, sniffing some white powder on, on FaceTime or whatever he was doing <laughs> when he was talking to the stripper and everybody in the world learned about that. Clearly, their offensive line had not been stout, uh, hadn't been protecting the quarterback as much as you would like, hadn't been, you know, creating holes for the running game. And for Jay Ajayi, who rushed for over 1,200 yards last season, who established himself as a stud, as a potential stud in the National Football League, we know this brother can play. So it's going to be really interesting. You would think that it, it sort of sets the stage for the Eagles but keep in mind, you know, Carson Wentz is so stellar. You've got that power game with Ajayi along with uh, LeGarrette Blunt and what have you. You might not, you might decide that you want to run the football, but you don't want to take the ball out of Carson Wentz's hands. It's going to be a tricky proposition for Doug Peterson, but clearly when you look at the Philadelphia Eagles right now, they have the personnel, the personnel combined with the resume thus far this season to be considered the prohibitive favorite to come out of the NFC and go, into, and go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, and I thought that might be the case before the season, and there's been a lot of activity at this trade deadline so far <laughs> this year. That's usually a basketball or a baseball thing, not so much an NFL thing, but that's what's happened this year. And Ajay, you know, sometimes I'll say this guy is average for a starting point guard or starting quarterback, and that sounds like I'm dissing the guy, but actually – at a very competitive position, to be average is pretty good. That's, that's not easy to do. It means you're a good player. And I think Ajay is at least an average lead back. At least an average lead back, meaning somewhere between, you know, there are 32 teams. Is he, he's no worse than the 16th and likely better uh, running back in football. That's a good player to pick up. I know he's having a bad year. Stephen A just detailed the, the offensive line issues. But last year he was really good. And he's just a good player. And if you have him and LeGarrette Blunt as a one-two punch, and I can also catch some passes. You have those two guys as a one-two punch. You have the receivers they've picked up. And you're playing behind, you know, they still got to address the left tackle. But you're playing behind a, an offensive line that so far before the Peters injury has played well. And you have a quarterback the likes of Carson Wentz, who lo has looked for all the world like already an elite player this season. The Eagles, who in the NFC? You know, mm -hmm. the, the Seahawks, who else? Who else you like in the <laughs> NFC right now? The Eagles look like they're going to make a run.